This is a roll of upholstery fabric that I found in an old home. It could be anywhere from like 50 to 80 years old. Uh, no way to really know exactly when, but it says hand print on it, which I'm assuming means it was hand printed, which is pretty cool. And it's a provincial print. There's like a guy on there, a lot of powdered wigs, some horse racing a trellis and it's all intact. So it's a shame for it to sit as a bolt of fabric and not be something useful. So I'm getting it taught on the honeycomb with some magnets and I'm gonna turn this into some clothes, I think today. And this is also gonna be the perfect project to test out this new diode laser cutter. It has a huge bed size and I figure cutting textiles is the perfect application for this because diode laser cutters in general are gonna be less power than a CO2 laser. So getting through thinner materials is going to be where it really excels and what better way to utilize this huge bed size i've never seen a bed size this size on a diode ever and the first test cut was pretty good but there was a couple threads that hung on so i changed my settings by slowing down the speed of the head because this was already i think at like 100 power or pretty close to it and this gave me a great result so i'm comfortable going ahead and cutting out my dress pattern Diodes very often don't come with an enclosure of any sort, and you're gonna notice the smoke kicking off of this. An enclosure completely solves this. You're just gonna need to independently build one or separately purchase that. Um, for filming purposes, I keep it open, but um, there's two huge garage bays off camera, so I'm standing outside and wearing a mask while this is cutting, especially considering that this is old fabric and I have no idea what's in the dyes and stuff. I uh, don't wanna take any chances there. The pattern I'm cutting, I designed about a year ago, cut it before, and so I know it works. Um, but I'm gonna make a, a couple little changes to it just to give this dress a little bit of different style to it than the previous one I did. Something fantastic about laser cutting fabric, beyond scissors just being way clumsier than this is, is that the laser kind of like ever so slightly sears the edges. So the pieces don't fray that badly, um, which is really nice. It makes a much more pleasant sewing experience when we get to the next steps. But before any of that, we decided that Michael needed a matching pair of board shorts made out of curtains too, but I don't have an existing pattern for men's shorts or board shorts. So these are boxers. Um, and we're just gonna cut these up and then make a vector file out of the shape and then there's a pattern. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I laid those shorts out wrong, but we will figure that out later. Right now, I'm gonna start sewing everything together, starting with the skirt. So I'm laying it out on the honeycomb just because it's easy to look at. And the key is to put the pretty sides together. I'm gonna start with these two pieces and sew along that edge on my sewing machine. This is ultimately gonna have pleats in it, so I'm laying it out just to get a visual on that, but I'm not sewing that yet. We're gonna do the bodice next. I 
like adding this stitch over that I'm doing on the top rim of the bodice whenever I'm doing something that I want to have a little bit more structure. This just adds that and I also think it makes wearable things feel a lot more durable so I'm not like worried about them falling apart if I ever wear this out somewhere. And the back half of the bodice is going to be elastic because it's comfier and here's how I'm doing that. And I'm gonna add two of those elastics to the back. So there's one on the top of this tube of fabric and one on the bottom. And then I'm sewing together the back half of the skirt as well. So I'm gonna end up with this really long bodice piece that has two elastic sections on either side and then a really big skirt piece. And I'm gonna sew them both together. So I realized in total human error, the cuts were getting scaled down about 30% between my design and the laser cutter, uh, just because we weren't paying attention. And I didn't realize it till I started sewing everything together. So the original shorts and dress that we cut, that we filmed cutting, um, are just very tight. So I needed to recut everything and the dress switched about halfway through that montage. Unfortunately for the shorts, I just didn't have enough fabric left to cut them completely out of the curtains. So slight edit to the plan. I'm gonna be using this white lining material. This is gonna end up being more comfortable anyway, I think. And I'm gonna substitute that in for some of the curtain material and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make it work. And as I got going with it, I actually vastly prefer this design anyway. It's still the boxer base. I just added in uh, like a stripe on the side. Obviously, we made something for red too. 